Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another Stormwatch tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, coal engines, get them working, and uh, let's not waste any time and get right into this. Okay, so here's the base. I have a battery already preset here. And the first component that you're going to need, let's come down to Steam under the modular engines. And you're going to need a firebox. Let's get the regular size one because we do have a large one if we need it. Um, but yeah, there's a firebox, it's down. And we have four outputs. We've got exhaust air, which we can do straight away basically. Um, same thing on any engine that you might make, just exhaust and an air intake. So we'll get that in like that and now we have a coolant and coolant in this is going to be for your um, water that you're going to be heating up next component you need is a steam boiler where the water is being heated up and converted to steam and we'll connect the coolant straight there doesn't really matter which order coolant in out um, a b it doesn't really matter we have steam out and water in come over here um, the water is the water is going to come from a tank which we can pre-fill and tanks have a double-ended connection now which is we're going to be taking full advantage of that uh, in a minute and we'll set this to fresh water and 100% fill um, that is going to make sure that water gets in here to be heated by the coal and uh, come out of steam which is going to go into a turbine and the turbine is going to produce all the torque that we need um, yeah we have torque up the top steam in and steam out there is also a torque output as well so on both sides of the uh, steam turbine there is a torque output which is pretty useful and we're going to have the steam coming out um, basically in a loop and well you could have it come straight out as another exhaust you would be using up your water and we can we can make this a little bit more efficient by actually using a condenser here this is going to turn our wasted steam back into water and oh, whoops we need steam coming in and water coming out there but first before we connect that up we're going to um, look at this coolant here and what we can do with this is simply put a radiator. You can use any coolant method of your choice, really. You don't need a radiator. But um, we need a way to cool the water down. What radiator or coolant method you use will come in a little bit later, but I'll get to that. And what we can do is directly link that up to our exposed water output there. And boom, we've successfully created a loop of water and steam. And we have an output. So we need a source of coal um, you could use a hopper which we'll just chuck that down and you can connect these these are all um, interchangeable they all have the same size if you're using a larger one and you can make whole systems of them and they come stock with coal um, which the firebox does not so we'll be using that um, to power this and simply to start it all we need is a push button and that will simply light the fire in the um, furnace so we'll power that up connect that and this should all work we have some outputs here which I'll get into um, you could wire these to a dial but I'm just going to be using the, um, the data view here and uh, so yeah we're going to fire it and as you can see um, the coal is going in and we have a temperature that's increasing there on the firebox okay so I've left this for a little bit um, with only one firebox it does take a little while for the temperature to increase but as you can see this has a temperature of 180 and as this gets over 100 the boiler it's gonna be about half of the firebox you're gonna see the pressure start increase and the uh, turbine is going to start spinning and we're going to get some uh, rotations out of our propeller here and the, um, the pressure will increase up to 10 um, at which point it will explode and you're going to see that soon 
there it goes just exploded and there are a few ways you can eliminate that um, which is where the size of your condenser speed um, is going to come in so you could use valves and a fresh hold to control uh, maybe a release you can have a steam come out or steam go back into here without flowing through the turbine you could limit the amount of water coming in or you could regulate the temperature to where you're just getting a slight increase in pressure um, but that is all for another video I just wanted to show you how to get your um, boiler running and your uh, all the components working together